Chen is the Chinese name for the azalea flower and for the cuckoo bird. The blooming of the flower coinciding with the crying of the cuckoo in early spring gave rise to a Chinese legend. According to the local historical record, the king of Shu, Tu Yu by name, gave up his throne and went in hiding in the West Mountains. It was February and the crying of the cuckoo heard throughout the kingdom reminded Tu Yu's subjects of his kind deeds and their sorrow at losing him. Legend has it that the flower dots on the azalea petals are the permanent imprints of the tears from the cuckoo's endless crying. Traditionally, the flower is used in reminiscence of the homeland that was lost, the favor unreturned, or the time that was passed. It reflects a sense of patriotism in a time of crisis or sustained friendship tested by time and circumstance. We hope you enjoy this azalea lesson by Ling Chi Ye. Thank you for watching Chinese Brush Painting for Beginners. Hi, this is Ling Chi, Brush Painting for Beginners. Today we're going to do a simple azalea. As the spring coming, azalea is blooming everywhere. The, um, the azalea uh, flower we were inspired referred by Nene's 108 flower book, book number one. And uh, has, is on, I think it's 60. It's on page third. 27 and this is the flower page that we use as a reference on our composition and we simplify it. Um, the paper we are using today is the water dragon that we have uh, re uh, introduced to you in our newsletter last couple of weeks and quite a few people have received them. So in addition to the landscape, we, we done it before, you can also use this one um, for, for this azalea. And the paper has a little sizing to it. It belongs to the uh, family of mulberry with uh, light sizing and from Taiwan. And um, the brushes we're going to use, we use our uh, our happy dot and then um, you can use your um, large flow which is combination brush today in the lesson I'm going to try this new brush I'm testing hopefully we can uh, uh, make it available to you in the near future I like this brush because it's a uh, in between our combination large flow and orchid bamboo has the um, control of the orchid bamboo and has the volume of the flow brush. We'll show you today how I can use this. And then the color we are using, um, I'm using the um, Da Vinci gouache white. Uh, the reason on this companion um, said the white is not as intense as this um, so uh, and then the rest of I'm just using in this uh, our 12 color companions uh, which are very easy um, to use so I have this white pre-squeezed out and then I'm going to have a little carmine here which is my light red. And then I have this um, red with the carmine on this side. Make it a little bit. And then with the pollen, I'm using carmine red and purple.
So this is for the flour. The green, I'm just going to use out of palette and then I will use this green. Sometimes mix it a little bit with the orchid in here to soften the green. And then the indigo, soften, and then the black. So now I'm all softened in the in the towel. I'm very excited about this new brush. So so I dip the brush into the white, and then I rinse the tip a little bit. And then I dip into the my caramel and I mix. So to lead the, the top petal, I'm having this one line here. And then So the great thing about this um, paper is that you can fix a little bit without having too much issue. And then, um, so this is my first petal. And then the second petal, I need a little bit more. And from here. A little more, more color line. And then the top two petal is from outside in. The two side petal is inside out, the top petal is outside in. So So then, the, then I'm going to be doing the dark red from inside out to get you that dimension that we needed for the flower. I want to make sure this is a little bit rounder, so. And then I have white again, the little red for the pet, uh, for the flower bud on the top. So then the same brush that I'm going to do all the leaves. So the leaves in this um, plant is like. Uh, uh, the same stroke as you're doing bamboo leaves. It's a lot of times when people start um, practicing, that's where they start with the bamboo leaves. So I, we can refer to that. So this is the calyx to hold this. And then I have the green and then a little bit um, blue, oh, indigo and black so. I 
make it lighter green for the outside leaves. Green with the ochre, soften it up. little white and darker leaves follow this and then lighter leaves on this side And then I'm going to use a, lo a little brown from the palette, mix it with a little green. Going to do the stem to hold the flower. And then we're going to start working on the center of the flower. So this is when we use our small brush, Happy Dog. So this is the dark red we had, which is Kamai red and purple. So we want to make sure it's not too wet. So this is the azalea we're doing today. And uh, I done one uh, before, it's a little bit better. Oh, I forgot something. So there are some dots on the flower base. So we use the dark red. Whenever I'm demoing on the camera, it's never as good as without the camera. So I'll show you. There was one that I did it before this when I'm warming up for this lesson. So then I'll sign my name here. So there is one that I did before this, so you can see side by side the difference. Mm -hmm. 